Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome to Bright Hope Fellowship. Thank you for choosing to worship with us this morning. Now, I don't know if you noticed the, the background to that first slide. Uh, that was sent by one of our church members who is vacationing in, in Hawaii. Isn't that beautiful? God's creation is, is so beautiful, isn't it? Uh, not just in Hawaii, but it's also, the wonderful, it's, it's also wonderful to see God's creation here in Pennsylvania. Your beautiful, smiling faces. But, um, you know, talking of Hawaii, did you know that they do not laugh out loud in Hawaii? They don't laugh out loud. They only do aloha. Anyway, uh, a warm welcome to everyone over here. Anyone worshipping over here for the first time, uh, please uh, fill out that connection card that is there in your bulletins and place it in the offering bag when the offering is collected after the sermon. You can also use the connection card to include your prayer requests if you have any. And uh, let me assure you, we pray for every, every single request. So please use that if you have a need uh, to be prayed for. Um, Tim's small group meets uh, in the Grace Cafe this Tuesday at 7 p.m. So if you'd like to be part of that, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. On Wednesday evening at 6.30, uh, Grace Cafe becomes the Bright Hope Boiler Room. Uh, that time of prayer as a church, um, you know, as we depend upon God, as we trust our Father, that is what our church really runs on. Uh, if you cannot join us for prayer in person, then you can also join us online or by phone. Please contact Carol in the church office for details on how you can participate. The same power women's Bible study is held on Thursdays at 10 a.m. Uh, this is at Doug Lamb Construction. All women are welcome. If you have questions, again, please contact Carol in the church office. Now, a few Sundays back, um, I had asked you to write down three areas in your life and three areas in the church where you saw something was broken, something that with prayer, with God's help, you know, we could try and rebuild. And I had mentioned to you that one of the areas we were planning to rebuild in the church was hospitality. And today I am so glad to announce that our new hospitality coordinator, Linda Bartholomew, is she, she's, she isn't here. Okay, she'll be here, but uh, uh, she is our new hospitality coordinator. And, uh, you know, let me just request each one of you to kindly cooperate with her as she puts her team together. And hopefully we will get to see our hospitality team in action along with our outreach team on the last Saturday of this month as we're organizing a movie night. Uh, Saturday, 25th, February 25th at 6 p.m., we are showing the movie A Case for Christ. A Case for Christ. This is a movie that is based on the life of Lee Strobel. Lee Strobel was an atheist journalist. He, he was an investigative journalist, and he set out to prove, to, actually he set out to disprove the existence of God after his wife became a Christian. Talk about getting a Valentine's Day gift for your wife. But that's what he set out to do, and you know, God worked in his life, and he became a Christian. So please invite your friends, your family, your neighbors to come and watch this moving this movie, Light Refreshments, will be served. Uh, so please let the office know a few days in advance if you are planning to come, if you are planning to get someone along with you. Finally, please remember to check your mailboxes in the Grace Cafe if you have one. Some of you may have some Christmas cards in there that are still waiting to be opened. But for now, for now, let's open our hearts wide and sing and worship our awesome God. Welcome again. So good morning.